You'll notice that you don't have the traditional star projector in the center of the room. We, rather than have that, that projector, we have video projectors around the, the bottom edge of the dome that uh, seam the image together on the dome. Um, the star projector, if you were in the planetarium community, there is a debate that rages between uh, using, you know, having that star projector in the center of the room or video projection. And it all comes down to crazy things like, do the stars look realistic or, you know, uh, those are some of the basic arguments. That's really the basic argument. It's how re realistic does the sky look. Here with this system, I can lift you off Earth and I can fly you anywhere you want to go in the universe. And so there's a versatility. Um, and I have yet to have a member of the general public, you know, say, you know, that just doesn't look like the right sky. We want our students, both here at the university and the public schools, to be successful. And uh, this theater is one of the ways, I think, gives uh, a student just a little bit extra incentive to pursue a, a college career if they weren't thinking about going to college, or if they're thinking about going to college, maybe a more technical career, things like that. Well, our system here, everything's virtual. Um, all our knobs and buttons and, and sliders are all virtual. Uh, we do everything on two panels. And so I can, I can do everything from bring the, the house lights down. So if we take our uh, cove lights off and bring our stars on, and voila, you're outside right now with the atmosphere stripped away. You get a bunch of kindergartners and first graders in here and the first time you lift off the earth and fly, and you get all those oohs and ahs, and I get the biggest bunch of goosebumps. Uh, you know, it's, uh, and I've had other faculty members, I've brought them in here, I said, if you're having a bad day, and you want something that kind of charges your batteries, come in here when there's a bunch of little kids in, and just the amazement that they have, and it's, it's a, it can be a little bit of a, a, a morale booster, you know, uh, I've had a couple of faculty members tell me that too. That you know that that uh, it's kind of nice to see the enthusiasm in the in the younger kids. Generally, on the third weekend of each month, and we do a Friday evening. Uh, we usually a planetarium show at seven and a laser show at eight fifteen. Then on Saturday afternoons, we do three planetarium shows: one, two fifteen, and three thirty. Take a little break, come back at seven, and do a laser show at seven, and then another one at eight fifteen. And the laser shows can be anything from, uh, we've got uh, Laser Country, <laughs> into uh, you know, U2, Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd, uh, uh, you name it. Uh, there's some, uh, some that are kind of compilation programs of different artists. Seamless, uh, and that's five projectors uh, work and five computers working in harmony. Uh, Some people that 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 know a little, you get some that know a lot. But most of the folks, uh, I think, when they come in, uh, they walk away with some little tidbit that they didn't know before they came in.